learn all about the world of well-being at the California Pharmacy Museum. Yes, Tina standing by this morning getting a medical history lesson this morning. Hey, T. Hi. You know, a couple of weeks ago we were at the Museum of Medical History. This one's a little different. It's called Don and June Salvatore California Pharmacy Museum. Please welcome George McMurphy, a docent there. Hi, George. Hi. Here we are at the Don and June Salvatore California Pharmacy Museum. How is this so different now from the medical uh, history museum? Well, we have a very eclectic collection of pharmacy artifacts uh, focusing on California. We kind of represent California pharmacy from the last half of the 19th century mm -hmm. on to the present day. Uh, where I am now is our 19th century room. Uh, all around here there are stock bottles. All prescriptions were compounded in those days. The pharmacist would weigh and measure and mix the ingredients to a prescription and then put them into a, a proper dosage form like a capsule or tablet or suppository. Okay. Uh, I kind of call this the 49er pharmacy also because we have interesting stories of two 49er pharmacists. They came from the east to mine gold to make their fortune. That didn't happen, but they were very successful in California. In other ways, uh, John Downey became the seventh governor of the state. Oh, interesting. Uh, all right. Uh, as I say, we have all these different stock bottles, and if you can focus on this, this is a typical pharmacy of the late 1800s. You can see those, those same stock bottles are on their shelves. They had to stock so many things. So how has it changed over There's the years? A, it, yes, they sure have. This is a little interesting exhibit we have that certainly is pharmacy and medicine. During Prohibition days, doctors could write prescriptions for medicinal liquor. Oh, uh, this is called okay. the prescription form for medicinal liquor. And it was manufactured medicinal whiskey, oh. dispensed as a, as a prescription. Uh, <laughs> Theoretically the, on, theoretically, the only legal alcohol in the state at that time, theoretically. All right, All right so, um, George, uh, how this, do people uh, make an appointment Yes. for a tour or something? Uh, they, they telephone or they can go on our website. Okay. Uh, and we, we give personal tours any time. We can, we can arrange them. All right. Sounds uh, good. This this is an this is an interesting thing. It caught your photographer's eye. This is a typical way of filing or storing prescriptions oh. at, at this time. They were just stuck on this on this wire and hung from the ceiling. Oh my God, or, that's a lot. Or, yeah, hung, hung in the basement. Yeah, oh, looks like a beehive, beehive kind of. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, that's what I thought a couple it was. Of, we, <laughs> we have a couple examples of those. Later went on to filing them in books and. And things. All right, George, um, we got to get going here, but thank you, thank you so much. Okay. People can over, um, over here is the over here is our 40s and 50s pharmacy oh, okay. with many over the counter Rexall remedies pharmacy. available at that time. Yeah. Well, thank you, yeah, George. You know, Rexall was big. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thanks uh, for we taking the time this morning. People, we welcome we welcome we welcome people to make a appointment, a reservation, and we'd be glad to give them a tour. Sounds good. Thank you very much. That's the Don and June Salvatore California Pharmacy Museum. It's out in your Sac State. Cool All stuff. Right. Back All right. right.